Alright guys, this is going to be our range for today's activity. We're going to have a 30% calling range, so a lot of offsuit eights, suited eights, um, basically suited eights, some suited gappers, suited connectors, all the way down to pocket pairs. So this is like a pretty micro stakesy calling range. And what we're we going to learn is like what boards are good to see bad and if you're the calling person um, what boards interact well with their range and stuff like that there are many different types of boards you have the high and dry right so that's uh ace nine deuce rainbow you have the low and wet so uh seven four five all hearts uh, the middle board number one would be monotone jack nine eight of diamonds. Middle board number two would be ten eight five rainbow. We have the two up one down board, so ace queen four rainbow. We have the one up two down board, the king of hearts six spades three of diamonds rainbow board. These are usually the best sea betting boards. Um, big card monotone, so all same suit, queen, jack, nine, very scary board. We have the chicken board, uh, 10, 10, five, like a double paired board. I think a lot of people have problems with these. Broadway board, ace, queen, jack, rainbow. And then we've got a baby board with like six, three, deuce, rainbow. So I showed you the range, right? That is the range that uh, we called with, let's say. So, I will see. I'm just going to give you advice. Best a flop texture for bluffing would be the chicken board. Say we called that, and this would be the best bluffing board because the initial opener is going to have more high cards and, um, you know broadway type holdings so could they have like a 10 in their range maybe but like say this is nine nine four it's gonna be hard for them to have a nine when they're under the gun or in early position so great flop texture for bluffing is a chicken board worse for bluffing would be the broadway board so ace queen jack that's because Yes, we do have some of those in our range, but they just, the initial raise is going to have more stronger holdings. Um, they could have a set of kings. They just have stronger, stronger holdings. So that is why it's bad to bluff on a Broadway board. It's just like you're literally bluffing into the range that hits them the most so don't do that especially in the micro stakes stay fundamentally correct and strong um yeah this range doesn't interact well on one up two down one up two down no it doesn't this is why the initial razor gets the seabed on this board because yes we have some king x we really don't have too much 6x, and it's really no draws because it's a rainbow flop. That's why these king high boards are all c-bet a lot. Um, chicken board, which is good for bluffing. Range doesn't interact well. And baby board flops. As you can see, that range, that 30% uh, calling range, only hits 20% of the time. On a baby board, top pick, tear, top pair, plus seventeen percent of the time. Open ended straight, like four percent of the time, and mid pair and gut shot, plus thirty three percent of the time. And where was the chicken board? As you can see, doesn't hit the flop well, right? Thirteen percent. We we don't hit well from that calling range. Top pair, thirteen percent. Top pair plus open ended straight draw plus. There isn't there isn't any zero. And mid pair and gut shot plus is 26%. And where was the other one? The king board, right? Up one, up one, down. Again, we don't hit this board very hard. 15% of the time. Top pair 
plus 14% of the time, open end to straight draw 1% of the time, and mid pair and gut shot plus 30% of the time. So that range does not interact well, as you can see, just by the, these are all, all these are uh, correct numbers. I did them. So, um, Hero should only see bet for value on Broadway board and big card flops because this Broadway heavy range hits them hard. So if you're like the initial opener, you'd want to see bet on Broadway boards and big card um, big card boards just because it hits your range well. You should actually use a big sizing, like not big, but don't go small, like like ace queen. Ace Queen Four, you should bet pretty big there because you actually it's just you have way more aces and queens, stronger aces and queens, may I say. So um Yeah, because hero because this Broadway heavy range hits them hard. Yes. If you're the initial opener, it is gonna hit you hard. Um beware of mid card and broadway heavy boards against calling stations. Yeah, because it hits their range, and um, calling stations aren't going to let go of, like, you know, King, Jack, 10. They'll continue on with the 10, so just you kind of have to be careful with the call. You always have to be careful with calling stations. Uh, the more closely connected the flop is with a flush draw possible, the more likely your opponent hit a draw worth continuing beyond the flop. And you can see all these boards and just, like, the good boards that interact well with your calling range of 30%. Again, I can show it. It's really just suited eights, offsuit tens, and then some mixtures of other things. But, but, some boards are just, they hit you way harder, like... That's a good for for a calling range. I mean, you you have like oh um, ten eight suited and things like that. So that's gonna hit that calling range really hard. And open end to straight draw plus thirty eight percent. You have a ton of equity in these types of situations. Seventy three percent here. So knowing it, I would maybe take a look at this, study it, screenshot it. Um, it just helps you look at different board types. I gave you the calling range and gave you just quick little advice on what to do. But I do think it's important to know, like, what boards hit well, you know? Like, baby boards are horrible. Like, you're never going to do 20%. I mean, you can see why people, an aggressive player, can take advantage of some low-stakes players, especially if they know these numbers and they just go over board interactions and stuff like this. The more you study, the more you learn, and the more you'll get better at poker. So uh, I hope this helps. Maybe it's like, oh, a little advanced. No, I mean, it's not. It's if you, You'll start to understand these different uh, boards, and you'll just start knowing what to see bet, when to see bet, and what, what cards are in their range and what's not in their range. So... Yeah, hopefully this helps. If uh, if it doesn't, you can just leave me a huge comment saying, you donkey. And I'll say, thank you, sir. Thank you. But uh, other than that, keep crushing. This is just for tournaments, guys. I, I'm not going to give you cash advice. All my stuff lately has just been about tournament play. So, But this really is important stuff. And I don't see anybody like I, – I see other poker videos. And they don't really break down the numbers and, like, you know – hit the flop top pair plus this is the percentage of the time of from their calling range that you're gonna hit that stuff so at least you have a like a little understanding um then you can figure out what boards to bluff what good boards for your texture yeah i think this is important so all right uh, i'll see you in the next video guys subscribe like and that's it for today's lesson